Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make chocolate covered pretzels for Javachino. Now, when you are assigned this job in class, you will have to, you either have the chocolate already melted for you or you will have to actually melt it yourself. So, right here what I've created is a double boiler improvised because we don't have big double boilers here at school. So all you do is take a, some type of pot, boil some water, put a bowl snugly on the top, and then you're going to put your chocolate into the bowl and then just melt it down. You want to make sure you're keeping an eye on it or what will happen is the chocolate will start to melt. Um, you want to make sure that there's water always in the bottom or what will happen is it will start, it will burn out the, the pot. So you want to make sure that it's keeping the steam, which is what's melting, the chocolate. Another method that you can use for melting chocolate is simply um, putting it in some type of microwave safe contraption and then just putting it in the microwave and doing like 30 to 1 minute intervals or else the chocolate will also melt. So what I'm going to be doing for you today is I'm going to have a chocolate base which I've already done some here and I will show you how I did that and then we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do a white drizzle and then I'll also show you how to apply the sprinkles. Very simple. Um, but for you visual learners this will be very helpful. Okay. So what I'm going to start off by doing is we do pretzel rods. I'm just going to take one and you can put it directly in the pot and then what you're going to do is you are going to start um, spreading the chocolate pretty much all the way up. You're going to leave some finger room right at the top just so you can have a handle on it and then you're going to spread it down just to make sure there's no um, marks or open spaces I mean, sorry. Okay. Just like so. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it to look somewhat nice and you don't want it to have too much chocolate on it. And then what I'm doing is I'm placing them very closely together um, because if you're assigned this for Java Chino, you'll be making mass amounts of these. So we just take one of our big sheet pans, put the parchment paper down, and then start letting them cool like so. Okay? So as I let those cool, I'm actually going, before I show you the chocolate drizzle, I'm going to show you how to do the sprinkles. Um, I, right now, it's, we're currently filming the end of school, so I only have Christmas sprinkles left over. So what I'm going to do is I'm just sprinkling some of these on a plate, and I'm going to take the pretzel I just did, and I'm just going to roll it through this so it gets a nice coating. Another way you can do this is you can just over something, or else sprinkles, sprinkles will go everywhere. You can just Sprinkle it right on, and then put it right back to let it set. And you would want to do this right when the uh, pretzel comes out of the chocolate so it's nice and moist and wet. And then as it dries, it adhe stays adhered to the pretzel. Okay? So now we're going to switch gears, and I'm going to show you. Um, as a drizzle for back and forth, I just melted some white chocolate. Um, sometimes when you're melting chocolate, if it seems too thick and it won't spread. Um, you can add a little bit of shortening and that helps thin out uh, the texture of the chocolate and it's more pourable then. Fortunately I didn't have to add any. I'm just going to put this right into my squirt bottle which is nice for um, decorating cookies and for decorating the these pretzels. Okay. Make sure your top is clear, nothing's in it. And then what I'm going to do, is so I'm just going to make sure it comes right out nicely, which it does. And then I'm just going to go back and forth, giving this a nice thin drizzle, just like so. So clearly you wouldn't do this until all of these were covered, and then you would do nice long strides. And you want them pretty close together. You can go back again on an angle to make, give it another decorative look. Um, we buy colored chocolate also, so like at Christmas time, we might do a white, we might dip it in white and then do like a red and green drizzle or, you know, we can do, our imagination possibilities are endless. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this cool and then we'll be right back and I'll show you how to package this up. Alright, so um, my chocolate covered pretzels are cool. Um, you know that by... Clearly they are not mashing or anything like that. Um, what you're going to do is when you package these, you're going to have to, whoever you're assigned to work with, figure out some type of assembly line. So like maybe one student is putting all the, the 
chocolate cover pretzels in the bags, one student's cutting the ribbon, one student's tying. You're going to have to work it out with the people you're working with. Um, your teacher will give you advice as to how it will work. However, you have to make it fit your group. Okay? So each bag gets three pretzels, and we have special bags for pretzels, though they are a little bit longer than the typical bags we use for like the sugar cookies or things like that. So what you're going to do is you just set these in here. Now when you're doing this, you want like loose hands or the chocolate will start to melt. Also when you're doing this, sometimes students will like take this out and have chocolate like on the side and they'll put it in there. You want to take those imperfections off. Alright, I'm going to put that right into the bag, just like so. Now you're going to take all the air out, you don't want any air in there. Give it a nice little twist. I have cut two pieces of white ribbon. Typically, since we do most of our job with notes and beams, you might be doing like orange, purple, and black for Halloween, red, green, and white for Christmas, and so on. So then what you're going to do, make sure the air is out. You're going to tie one knot, go around to the front, tie another knot, so you're double knotting it in two places. And if you're unsure if it's secure, I always maybe do a triple. So now I'm good. So now what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to trim this because I cut this a little long. And then I'm going to take and curl my ribbon. To do that, you just take the end of the scissors and you go like so. The reason why we curl is because it's very difficult to make both all look identical, especially with this ribbon. So we use uh, this nice curling ribbon and we curl it. And it will look just like so. And then you're ready to sell this. We sell this for $1 for three chocolate covered pretzels. 